based on the culture. So normally, this is a the thing that you can make ham more special. This is a robot, but it's not a regular robot because it has the uh, uh, we put APIs. So imagine that the um, the Fukushima plant in Japan, right? They blow up and they have a nuclear and radioactive problem. So you're not gonna send guy to go in there measurement and say, hey, I'm at the door or somewhere in the position there. We have the ham have the APIs as a package to send the position. But to be better than that, I add the package of the uh, measurement. This is a two measurement, the uh, radioactive Geiger counter. So basically, this this is a this is a microcontroller. So microcontroller have the Arduino. So I can open up and show inside. And basically, I used his GPS and the radio send the package, the regular radio. I use the radio because it's like. 5 watt full and it's small enough. And this is a microcontroller. So, this is the one part of the uh, why this uh, robot more interesting than regular robot. So, basically, this robot you can build for the battle boss, the fighting robot, but you can put in use to send this robot to danger zone and grab something and get a sample back, so do whatever you want. So, it, the robot itself is the, the track is from the uh, snow blower, which is a snow blower they use for the East Coast. They clean up in front of the house, they get out the house, and they hand push the snow blower. Normally, you have an engine. I got this on the Craigslist for 300 bucks. I take out the engine, I get the track because the track is very strong. And after that, we get the uh, motor, which is a wheelchair motor, 24 volt. It's about 1200 RPM, but it's very strong because they have a gearbox in here. So you can push the people, that's very strong enough. And it has the, uh, right now I use the uh, radio controller. It's 2.4 gigahertz. So in the radio control, you can control this a five channel, basically just for the demo to see how you can control the robot. You can application more than this by using the internet or something else like a NASA used to control the Mars rover, same thing. They use a radio to control same thing, but that's a long distance. So this one is like an improvised project because this arm, I didn't make the arm, I just bought because this is a monitor arm, I just make adapter out of it. So it's an attenuator. So this is very cheap robot, but it makes look expensive because I don't buy the off-the-shelf part. The part is used everywhere, the junk and together. And the only hard part is the arm. You have to cut and put the gear together. So the arm is worth it like you know. <laughs> this is the front and back. And this is a, just a panic switch. I just turn it off to make sure that it not run anywhere. You have uh, any questions on this one? I built, I built this one within one week, I can tell you that. It's like uh, every every evening after work, go to the work, workshop and build it. It's not that much, you just build a hole and make the half and put together. The metal order they cut for you and they just make the half. It's no drawing, it's just come out this idea. It's just, hey, put this one, hey, oh, this is nice, put together. That's really cool. How is this uh, transmitting data, radiation uh, um, uh, data? Basically, they go to the, uh, we have, they call IKE, Internet Gateway, for the APIs. It's in the repeater, everywhere around here. Even Mount Diablo, W6CX also have one big one. So, and uh, Santa Cruz. This one can, this, this can go very far. You can look at the web, APIS.fi, and uh, slat call sign, this one. Uh, so right now I can look on the computer and... You can type k6xox.a on the Google. And I can see it on the internet, on a map. see on the Google map. Where and is the robot? In a world. Yeah, they can <laughs> see, you can see position and the reading. And the data that is transmitting, yeah, like radiation data and such. Uh, the, the data, basically the data before the decoding, the data, they send the packet, data with the latitude, longitude and the uh, elevation and uh, the measurement of the, the radiation. So.
Slow so you can capture it. Yes, but it's a good plan. 